Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. Eh. Someone requested me to say that, so there you go. Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna jump straight into the Battle of the Sterling. Well, not the Sterling. Battle of Sterling. Let's see what they say. The time for minor skirmishes is over. We now prepare for war. Oh, war. The villain Longshanks is poised to cross the river forth and threaten the town of Sterling with a force of men-at-arms, heavy cavalry, and a multitude of archers. Our newly formed army marches southward to establish our own base and attack the English before they can ready their troops. Okay. Oh, now we get objectives. And hints. Defeat the English army and destroy the tower. So just the tower we gotta destroy. Similar way to random map games. After you play this scenario, you should know all you need to play a random map game. Keep exploring, okay? Scout cavalry are poor fighters, but they can see a great distance. You can use your scout cavalry to explore the rest fighters. of the map. Fighters. Some of the best units in the game, man. The time has come to take the offensive. English have a fort near the town of Stirling. If we can defeat the English here, they may think twice about their invasion of Scotland. Seems to be like a road going here, so. Destroy the English tower to the west. Destroy the English tower to the west. the English to the west, we need to build up our forces. Have your villagers start gathering food. Keep making villagers at your town center until you have ten. The more Ten villagers wheels. you have, the All right. faster your resources will come in. So I'm just following this path. I assume this leads to the tower we need to destroy. The only access to your town. It would be a good idea to build a watchtower on this hill once you advance to the feudal age. You can specify a location for new units to gather by selecting oh. a gather point. Waller. For villagers, it's such wallers. The, town center the Englishmen. The set gather point button. You can gain more food by building fishing ships. To create fishing ships, fishing ships? have your villagers oh, build a This is getting the advanced. You're close to an English base. You better not knock down this wall until you've got an army of about 12 soldiers. 12 soldiers? Use your villagers to build a mill near your forage bushes. Oh, I should make a mill, you say? You found some sheep. Good Sheep idea, man. Good source of food, so send them back to your town center and assign a villager to gather food from them. I wonder if they expect us to go fuel age first. Well, I guess they expect us to do that. So I reckon if we just make a few archers, we should be able to just micro a little bit. And, uh... That should be good enough, I hope. Yeah, this is now we uh, get a little bit more gameplay here, not just the uh, absolute complete uh, standard learning process that we've been through so far. So I guess he has just a couple of men at arms, maybe scouts, I don't know, maybe one knight, which seems to be the reoccurring pattern here. Uh, so I don't think we need that many units. Just get to fuel lish, make some archers, and right do fletching probably. And fish. The fishing ship and will collect we'll fish and attack. automatically return them to the dock. Fishing ships are also useful for exploring. Oh, exploring with fishing ships, you say? Build the barracks and we could just land units on the side as well. Villagers and explore the map. Oh. Right, build a barrack and five militia to defend your villagers. Is this a must or can I just make my own units? I just want to get to village. Villagers can also build farms. Build four farms near your mill when your forage bushes are depleted. Each farm when they are depleted. Okay, so never. Okay, we should probably just go up in a few seconds. Shouldn't have made that farm. That was unnecessary. I could have made another fishing ship and just sent this gun sheep. But what can you do? We're still learning here. This is after all the learning campaign. We're gonna get housed. So let's do loom. There. Okay, we have gold. I feel like I'm probably spending much longer time on this than I had to. <laughs> we'll see though, we'll see. Oh, 
Pretty sure uh, a lot of you will. Throughout this journey of the campaign, a lot of, a lot of you will probably be shaking your heads and wondering, oh my god, why is he spending so long? Or why? what is he doing? Why is he doing this? And why is he doing that? Keep in mind, guys, I have no memory whatsoever of any of these campaigns. So it's really hard to uh, know exactly what you need to do, especially when we get to the uh, new campaigns where we will be probably playing on a much tougher difficulty. It might actually be hard. The English are coming to attack. What? To protect your villagers, <gasps> you can use the town bell to garrison them in your town center. Click your town center. Oh, well, this then wasn't click that town much. Bell. I ain't scared. I want to send a bill forward and make like military buildings forward, so it takes shorter time to uh, to kill them, pretty much. That was tough. You defeated the English Good. assault. Have you have villagers in your town center? Ring the town bell again to send them back to work. Never rang it in the first place, you noob. It's old man. <clears throat> I wonder if we could have just won this with... Probably not with militia. But I guess as soon as we hit fuel age make a few men arms and a few archers and we should be able to just win them like that and probably just take down a wall there a scout meanwhile save some time now that you've reached a feudal league concentrate on making some soldiers to fight the enemy you will need to see only have men arms and I'm spending way too much time on this I feel I don't. I probably don't need to make more wheels. To be fair, could have done this much more quickly. I feel like. But hey, what can you do? I'm still learning. Wonder if they thought when they made this that men at arms would be much more. Um, an English outpost of use you know than they really are in a competitive scene, at least. We'll probably put way more on. I have a lot of food, why am I not making a. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Why am I not just uh, putting everyone on wood so we can get this over with? We're banking like 600 food for no reason. I wonder if we can just win with this. We'll make a blacksmith with this guy just to get upgrades. But uh, I'm not sure if we'll need that. Oh no. I think we could have just micro. He's chasing the archer so we can just run around a little bit. Yeah, it's just, just keeps chasing the archer. Didn't have to be harder than this, I guess. I overestimated the power of the English. Oh, they have archers. Oh, tower. Maybe you actually need a couple of units to... Well, you could have just rushed them with villagers as well. Yeah, I just need to take the tower right now and I win. So yeah, I guess this, this this is it. Just need to finish that off and then we're good. Yeah. All right. Did it. It's tough though. Now Toughest campaign to so far. Charge! Charge. Charge. Uh, wait, what? Keep your villagers working just in case you suffer casualties. Yeah? Clever. Clever. 
Grace job. Got him. A battle of Sterling is sure to end in victory for the Scots. Good job. You've eliminated the English soul. Thank you, man. Now destroy that tower, and our victory will be well, complete. I destroyed it. Know how to build up. Advance through the ages and find and fight your enemies. You have all the basic skills oh you need God. to play a random map game. Finally, we can play a random map game. game in Age of Empires. In Age of Empires 2. Victory. Did it. Let's see. Why, why did I even go through with like adding this, this elevation here? What's the point? <laughs> I don't get it. Like when they made this, they went like, ah, yeah, we should probably add some ele elevation in the desert over here. And here. Alright, well, fair enough, fair enough. Let's see what they say now. Sterling was our first great victory. Even as we held the coastline, word came in that the Sterling Bridge had been held by a force of Scots led by the mythical knight of whom so many have spoken. Now, we know his name. William Sir William Wallace. Wallace, the hammer of the English. <laughs> Edward Longshanks names Wallace a traitor and a criminal. But Sir William replies that he cannot be a traitor, since he never swore fealty to an English king. With Wallace leading our armies, the men fight with renewed vigor. Perhaps the tide of our misfortunes is about to turn. I almost feel like watching a Braveheart again in this campaign story of William Wallace alright that was the Battle of Sterling thanks for watching guys and uh, see you for the Forge of an Alliance coming up soon